This is the brand new Hub 2 from SwitchBot. It is a four-in-one smart home hub. In addition to that smart home hub, it also has the ability to be an IR controller, a Wi-Fi thermal hygrometer, which essentially means it can track the humidity and temperature. And we've also got two smart buttons on the front of this. Now that's not even all this device can do. In addition to that humidity and temperature sensor, we also have a light sensor or a Lux sensor. So it can tell the brightness of a room and you can actually use this as a trigger to activate home automations. Say when it gets too dark in the room, automatically turn on the lights. Now this hub is compatible with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, Apple's HomeKit, Samsung SmartThing, and even the new Matter protocol. Now SwitchBot did send this hub out for me to review and I wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you wanna see more from me, I recommend checking out my Instagram channel. That is the other place that I'm pretty active in and doing a lot of cool things over there. So check that out. Also, I would greatly appreciate if you can hit the thumbs up on this video. It truly helps out a lot with that YouTube algorithm. And with that said, let's go ahead and see what comes in the box. Okay, so we get our user manual. We've got a brick for the power. Here we've got the two double-sided sticky tapes that we can use for our devices right here. This is the power cable. We've got USB-A on one side. We've got USB-C on the other side. And on this cable right too is going to be our temperature sensor and humidity sensor. So what's nice about this is that they actually pulled it out of the device itself, put it off to the side here. So that way the heat out of here would not affect the temperature sensor in here. So I do like that, although that cable is now very custom to our hub right here. But here is what the hub looks like. We have a nice matte white finish all around, which I really like. What you're gonna do is it's got this little kickstand here that you can pop out. So we're gonna pop that open right here. And then underneath we have got our port for power right there. It shows you how to bend the cable. So if you do want to use this, you can put it down right there, get it all plugged in. And then, I mean, you're essentially good to go. We've got a nice, rubber strip here on the bottom for it sitting on your tabletop. It won't slide there, which is nice, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing plugged in and set up in the app and let's see what the features it offers in the app. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug the device in and we're gonna get it set up. We have power on it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus sign in the app and then we want to install the hub too. So we're gonna push both buttons on here. Now we have it in pairing mode. We'll click on next. And we're gonna have to connect it to Wi-Fi. So we'll go ahead and set up the Wi-Fi connection. All right, connected it to the internet. We're gonna go ahead and just take off the extra here. We're gonna rename it to SwitchBot Hub 2. Let's go ahead and put it in a room. This one will be here in the office. Click on save and boom, we're done. Super easy to get this thing set up. Okay, let's get our display turned back on. I'm gonna go ahead and let's take a look at some features that are in the app. So inside the app is where we're obviously gonna find most of the functionality of this device right here, or at least to control it. If we take a look at the app, our first option right here, we've got our SwitchBot 2. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna give me the temperature that is in that room, humidity, and we also have the room light level so you can have an idea of what the light level is when it's about this bright in the room. If we tap on that, that is going to bring up the graphs of what is happening up at the very top. You can either do day, we can see it by week, month, or year when you get it for that long. Let's go back to daytime right here. We can see our humidity, temperature, and then we've got some more options down below here. I'm gonna go ahead and back out of there. Now below that is where you can set up your IR appliances. Now I don't have any in my house to set up right now, but what you would do is tap on the add remote select what you want to do. So say for example, fan, you can tap on there and then it's going to give you three different options for setting up remote control with this device right here. If I go to the option for learn buttons at the bottom, it's going to tell me that I can go ahead and tap on what buttons I want to do what. It's pretty cool. From here, I would tap on the on button, use a remote. Next to the hub, it'll pick up the signal that's coming out and program that in. It is pretty cool. If we back out of there, we have got our last options here at the bottom for what we want our buttons to do at the bottom. So I have mine set up right now for running my office lights. I have it to where when I push the off button, it's gonna turn off the smart light and it's also going to use the switch bot bot to use that little button to turn off the light switch. Now when I hit the on button, it's gonna do the same thing, but in reverse and turn those lights on. Now there are a ton of different things. You can use this to control either individual devices within the SwitchBot ecosystem, 
or you can actually have it control different scenes that you have set up through the app. So it can control multiple devices at the same time. Now jumping into the settings in the top right corner, I'm gonna click on the gear icon. We've got a bunch of different settings in here. You can go to backlight and sounds. This is going to adjust what the lighting does. So you can either you know, turn off the indicator light if you wanna do that. I can turn off the temperature reading. So I won't see that if I don't want to. Let's go ahead and turn that one back on. I can turn off the touch buttons at the bottom. So I don't see those if I don't want to. Uh, we've got the option to adjust the brightness of that screen depending on how light it is. What's nice is that when it gets dark in the room, the lights on the display will turn off. If you tap on the device, they will turn back on. And then we've also got the sound if you want to have that beep or not when you push it. So a lot of options that we have with this. I like to go ahead and turn my indicator light on, but I only want it to use it when it is being controlled. So it'll pop on and use it and then disappear. If I back out of here, we've got our desired conditions so we can set up different alerts that we wanna use for these devices. So if I wanna set up like a temperature alert, if it gets within or above or below a certain temperature, I can turn that on through here, or we've got the humidity alert right to there. If we back out of there, we can calibrate our device. You can set up your different cloud services. So if you wanna connect it to any of your cloud services right there, you can do that. We've got our NFC tag, we have got our matter configuration. Now I am in a weird situation right now where I'm not able to use matter because I want to use mine with my Amazon Alexa ecosystem. And that is not available right now to somebody with a smartphone. I'm hoping that's going to be really soon. So we can start testing out all of that matter stuff. But unfortunately that is not something I am able to test out right now. Below that we've got our different firmware versions, logs, user guide, all that kind of stuff right there. So that is kind of the behind the scenes of things that you can control through the app with our device. Now this thermal hygrometer is built into the actual cable itself. We got double-sided sticky on either side if you want to do that, but obviously you don't want to lose or break this cable. However, if you do want to use this somewhere else or replace the cable, you can always upgrade to its bigger brother right here. This is an external device this is what it looks like that you can actually put indoors or outdoors. So if you want your hub to display maybe the temperature and the humidity outdoors, you can also pick this guy up too. Now the IR remote that was built into this hub is actually twice as powerful as with the old hub. Now I didn't have any examples of me setting up any IR remotes in this video because I'm actually going to be recording that separately and putting it on my Instagram. So be sure to follow me over there. But everything that is packed into this little device right here, make it such a good value for the price. Speaking of price, if you use the coupon code below, you're going to be able to get additional 15% off whether you buy it on Amazon or the SwitchBot website. A smart home hub, temperature and humidity display, a remote built into it with those buttons on the bottom, IR blaster built inside of it too. In addition to that light sensor, this thing is pretty awesome. If this device or the standalone thermal hydrometer is something that you would be into, then I will have links in the description below. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.